Welcome back to New Day Northwest from the AAA Travel Alcove. And we are traveling back in time to an August night in 2019 when the Seattle folk pop band, The Head and the Heart, performed a concert on the roof of Pike Place Market. Thousands of fans packed the street below, and it's a scene far removed from what we've been experiencing these days. Well, now that concert is streaming on Prime Video. Evening St. Brian talks to Jonathan Russell and Chris Zashi about the concert and the ups and downs of performing in one of Seattle's most successful bands. I suppose the first question has to be, what was it like to be on the rooftop of Pike Place Market that August evening? It was thrilling, a little a little terrifying for, for hype reasons and just for just what we were doing, of course, um, but it was great. We literally used to bust below that roof for, you know, maybe 17 bucks. Uh, and so to be able to like jump on the roof and raise money uh, and get money back to do what we needed was, was uh, pretty incredible. I remember like walking on, walking onto the roof to start the show and like, you just, you get hit with like iconic images of like the Beatles or U2 in LA, like shutting down city blocks and putting on shows and felt like <laughs> iconic, I guess. So it, it yeah. seems like open mic night at the Connor Byrne Pub deserves a plug when we talk about the head and the heart story. Uh, what is the story of how the band got together? Um, I'll try and keep it brief, but um, I walk in and um, on stage, this is this guy who I now know is one of my best friends, um, Josiah Johnson. He's playing, he's playing a Bon Iver cover, he's playing Skinny Love, and uh, just blew me away. And um, we started hanging out and we returned to that open mic again and again and just kept meeting. Chris was actually bartending there. And finally, they were starting to like book shows and needed a bass player. Within like 30 minutes of Chris being in that room, it was just, it just locked and the chemistry was there. And we were like, okay, I guess this is, this is what our band sounds like now. I am on my way, I am on my way. I am on my way back to where I started. It certainly, at the very beginning, it just, some things happened very quickly for, for you guys, it seems. You, you signed yeah. to Sub Pop, you hit the road, you're touring with other um, indie bands, you go as far away as Chicago, and people already know your songs. Yeah, people were, like, singing along. Like, how... I don't think we had even, like... I guess we had self-released our album at that point, and it just kept happening. Like, we're in Boise, and it's like... How do you know of us? Like, how is this? <laughs> you know the words better than I do. Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, you guys are on the road pretty consistently. If not, you're probably in the studio. And it does take its toll. You know, Josiah really comes across as the heart of this documentary. And he has a hard time, right? He, he enters rehab. Right. He's got to look out for himself. You know, a, a change in personnel is something that can really threaten the band. So how, how, do you, how did you all get through that period? Um, it was tough. Early on, we just, we said yes to every opportunity that came, you know. So, like, we would drive overnight with, like, people in the back of a U-Haul. <laughs> like, whatever it took to, like, make the show, we said yes and we did it. I think we were just so engulfed in the music and the band. I feel like personal priorities just didn't really exist. <laughs> I mean, you're living in a van, you're tired, you're not, you know, you're not sleeping, you're not eating. Um, just physically, you just get run down. Emotionally, you can get really run down. Um, and I think we weren't really aware of um, our own mental health and each other's mental health. With that in mind, this year that you haven't been touring, you guys are such a hardworking band. What is this year? been like the year that you did not get to go out on tour aside from all the horrible things that are happening um i feel pretty blessed to have this uh, like time at home we're writing remotely we're recording remotely 
And it's not, I mean, maybe for us as like a touring band, I think we're going to really appreciate it a lot more. I think we're going to like be better at it <laughs> after this. I think there's a whole lot of people out there who want some healing and just some uh, release from what's going on. And I'm ready for that as well. Lord have mercy on my love and rowdy ways. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. What is this? So I had never heard their music until just now, and they're great. And if you want to see more, you can see Rivers and Roads, The Head and the Heart, live from Pike Place Market on Amazon Prime right now. There is also a live album available from the concert. And later in the show, we're going to share a performance of one of their biggest hits. So stick around for that.